Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Final Fantasy XV. Alright, and when we left off, we were uh, sleeping here at this quaint little house. <laughs> because uh, the next mission that would pop up, uh, we would have to be making sure <laughs> that we were able to save or not. Because, uh, yeah... It'd be a long one. So here's hoping that we don't have any problems. Personally, I just kind of want to make sure that <laughs> I can at least about that lake, get out. Pretty sure he was talking about the Vesper Pool. Yeah. I asked Monica to look into it, and she told me the road leading there is under Imperial lockdown. Yeah. You'll want to be prepared for anything. So how's that coming along? Yeah, we're ready right now because, uh, yeah, that was really all we needed to do. Uh, we were already near the end of the episode at the time, and I didn't have any more time to record at that point. So, now I do. <laughs> so, yeah, let's get going. just give us a second. Uh, okay. I'll be inside then. Alrighty. I don't know what Gladys talking about, but, uh, okay then. Oh. So, yeah, gonna have to ask you to handle this boat business without me. Say what? Huh? Got some business of my own to deal with. Sounds like he wants to fly solo for a bit. Gonna be long? Not long enough for you to miss me. Alright. That's fair. Gladiolus left the party. Ah, a way forward. Completed chapter six. All right. So I assume this is about the time frame where he goes off onto episode Gladiolus. I assume. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, the time frame seems to match up. <laughs> it's just a goofy picture. I'm sorry. It's goofy. All right. And it popped up on my computer. Yay. I just realized I don't have my coffee with me. Give me a moment. All right, I had to open it all up and well, grab it in the first place. I didn't even bother getting it by the time I started recording. <laughs> to repair King Regis's old ship, Noctis and company require the rarest of ores, Mithril. With only a vague clue to guide them, they head to the Empire-held... <laughs> I didn't even catch all of that. <laughs> Shit. I tried to get it on the uh, viewer on the... Uh, recording program and even that I couldn't even see and fast enough to actually read it son of a bit it's an empire held places that's all aww she got the thing that I wrote she's happy Here's hoping everything's okay wherever she's at. <laughs> God damn it. Shut up, McAfee. On my computer. <laughs> That's what I'm screaming at. Several days later. The full cave was right around here. That All means right. the lake should be somewhere north of here. Be wary, though. When we go, the Empire seems to follow. Well, I mean, we already know that they're going to be there, so... No parking or U-turns. Okay, that's fair. Ha! Huh. Wait... What happened to Under Imperial Lockdown? They all but turned the key and left the gates open for us, as if awaiting our arrival. And if anyone's waiting for us? I bet it's that guy. Yeah. Chancellor Rizunia. Can't complain, as long as he lets us in. Who's to say he'll let us out? Not to mention yeah, we're a man down. Would that the Marshal were with us. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to that guy? As I understand it, he's put his tomb raiding on hold to help the hunters take care of some troublesome beasts. Okay, no that feels that The boy. immortal. Well, I mean... He's gotta prove that title somehow. It's a good way to do it. Alright. 
so we still got a ways to go. An Imperial blockade. Oh, fuck off. Okay. Everybody well, let's hop out. out for now. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Alright. Well, we're gonna be dealing with these over the two miles. Right. No gladio, no get for out. Yep, that is for What the fuck did those Those motherfuckers just shot a fucking rocket at me? Fuck you guys. There we go. There we go. Good shit. Fuck it. And they're down. Alright. Yeah, nothing really to it at all. It's nice. So glad he's not going to be here to help us. That's unfortunate. But, <laughs> to be fair, it seems uh, we're pretty good on our own. Alright, manual. What's the forecast? Clear skies with the temperature rising. As long as we don't yes. have any more blockades, we should be good. Oh, the car is starting to pick up a little bit of dirt and flex. Hey, why don't we take a group picture over there? Okay. Sure, yeah, why not? Go for it. I mean, we're already here. Photo, <laughs> photo op, lakefront. All right. Oh, I see. Ah. Oh. I don't even know if we did a uh, photo op from the lakefront earlier or not. But I figure we might as well do it if we're already here. Uh, oh boy. This is a long trip down. Yeah, this does not seem like something we've already done. There's some ore over there. I'll have to see if I can grab that. Hmm. It should be a nice change That's of pace. Cool. Wait, what? We're already at the Vesper Pool? Huh. Alright, well... At least that's a thing that we've done. Let's fucking do the photo shoot real quick. Huh. Whoop! <laughs> that was unintentional. Alright. Think Gladio will be back anytime soon? It would help if we knew what he was up to. Yeah, it would. But uh, I think we have a whole DLC that'll tell us what Take he's been up here. to. Good call. Now it's picture time. Yeah, let's do it. And real quick. Uh, let me get this shot. Okay, this is fucking... <laughs> this is a boy band cover. The gang's all here, see? Us? Fucking album cover photo. That's what exactly what that is. Alright. Oh. Oh, well then. Her teeth can skin a fish alive. Pulling away from a bite only makes it worse. Yeah. So, the moral of the story is, don't get bit. Yeah. Sounds like it. Alright, let's, uh, let's stay away from over there then, shall we? So, we got a little bit of road left to take to get to the uh, actual Vesper Pool proper. So, uh, let's actually let it go auto the rest of the way to the quest location. Because uh, I don't trust I that I'm... used to having all this room back here. I'll let the big guy know you said so. <laughs> well, to be fair, I mean, he was the source of most of the problem. I mean, considering that this was apparently the road we were supposed to be taking and I almost missed it, probably better off to let 
this handlet. Because I don't know how to navigate. At least in this game. Alright, and here we are. Huh. Wonder what that was about. How is Lestalem going to survive without power? How am I going to survive without power? <clears throat> Don't know. Radio still works, though. Yeah, that's true. At least if the radio <laughs> still works, that should be enough. Alright, so I guess we got to take this little footpath down there. I assume. Okay. Let's keep going. Only a little ways. Holy shit, bird. Whatever this that is, that's a lot of them. Paint. Blue stone crystal. Wow. Yellowstone crystal and... I guess another yellowstone crystal. Nope, redstone. Okay. That's what it is. Wow, those are big chickens. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. That's a cockatrice. Alright. Alright. Two time damage boosted warp strike. Uh. I guess that means the uh, big sword in this one. There we go. That's how it's done. Yeah, it is. Uh, unfortunately, it's also big fucking chicken. Jesus Christ, it's not gonna go well. Oh, okay. There we go. It is taking a lot of damage from it though. Nice. Nice job on the basilisk okay oh their damage <laughs> their uh, damage weaknesses are completely different than the cockatrice okay well then let's focus on the cockatrice for now and down plus the uh, main good sword yep probably now, you'll eventually get over it and down. That's it. What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Alrighty. Free range fowl over rice with basilisk breast. Okay. Alrighty. That is fair. <laughs> hey, if it works, it works. It does sound kind of good. Free range foul over rice. And this this is about as free range as you could possibly get with those fucking Oh boy. I mean they're not technically chickens. <laughs> I mean I know I was calling them. That. Right now. Meeting girls probably. <laughs> Son of a bitch! not expecting that and then I was definitely not expecting prompto son of a bitch <laughs> oh, the chair is squeaking a lot but I don't care <laughs> oh shit that is beautiful <laughs> okay. the hell this thing is I don't know but hitting it no big deal. Well, unfortunate I had to kill it, but I have no idea even what it is. So, there we go. Yep, no rest for the wicked. There we go. Let's go. Indeed. So any more of them that are just hiding out here? Any more? 
Nah, doesn't look like it. Alright. We're almost there to boot, so there's that. <laughs> oh, shit. That was almost bad. <laughs> huh. Oryx Culinary Chronicle 1, Entry 6. Moving out. Got back to base camp, and first thing they tell me is I'm being reassigned to patrolling some outpost in Duskay. Probably better that I stay in one place. Can't get lost that way, and who knows, if I make good use of the land, I might go down in the books as a pioneer in my own right. My partner cooked me up some local clean grub as a send-off. Uh, I think I pronounced that right. <laughs> Half of these words I haven't heard for a long time. Now that's a meal I won't soon forget. I bet. A new recipe, pala de polo. Didn't see what the ingredients were before it fucked off, but hey. A new recipe. I should say it properly. New recipe. Okay. Oh, the base banknote. Cool. Yep. Yep, we knew it. Gentlemen, what a pleasant surprise. Right. Ugh. Told you he'd be waiting. Yeah, With you my did. imperial friends, no less. Splendid. But fear uh -huh. not. I'll put in a good word. Well, come along then. Good word. Too he far, says. Lest you get left behind. Yeah. And surely, you'd rather avoid unnecessary scuffles. Seeing as you're now a trio. Oh dear. Touchy subject. One we won't discuss with you. Then let's discuss why you're here. Hmm. It can't be archaeology. Mithril, perhaps? This guy's reading our thoughts. I don't Mithril. think reading them per it's se. It's a precious resource, you see. Guessing. We can't just let anyone really, get really their well. hands on it. But you'll uh -huh. help us get ours on it, right? I never said that. Of course you didn't. Where is the fun this in that? This guy. I thought you'd rather dig it up yourselves. Right. This guy. This lazy fucking guy. Oh boy, it's Dungeon of Boot. I'll be but a moment. Right. A what? moment doing what? Who? It's me. Hmm. All clear. Go ahead. All right. Arania. Wasn't Arania that one woman we fought earlier? And we're heading into a dungeon, no less? This is not going to go well. This is really not going to go well. Alas, the ever wary military. They'll not abide visitors left unattended. I, I must see. prevail upon you to accept an escort. I've seen to everything. All right, so at least we're not down a fourth person entirely. I'm assuming Arania is going to be our fourth. <laughs> They're just letting me shop with them. All right. Um, I'll do that. Sure. Rebellion. That's actually stronger than our current pistols. A gun that unleashes its full potential in times of peril. When the shooter is in poor health, it can deliver critical strikes against the foe. Huh. As opposed to the mithril pistols, which enhance magic. Huh. I already have the st strongest shield possible. But, uh, that's with Gladdy. <laughs> Currently can't get that. Huh. Huh. Alright. Well, I mean, I might as well get the gun. Not sure if it'll re replace the Mithril pistol, but, I mean... Might as well get it, if I have the ability to. And sell them some of our stuff we don't need, huh? Let's do that much. Uh, although, to be fair, I don't think there's much in the way of that I have. Earth gemstone. Still kind of need some of those. Uh, supple tail. Part with some of those. Part with that. Part with 
that. Uh, sharp scythe. Part with some of that. Part with that. <laughs> Repair kit. I still haven't used any of those yet. That's hilarious to me. And I guess that's it. Sure. Well, there's that. What is this? Huh. Oh, and that's the rest of the stuff. Okay. Well, they let you get all prepared for sure. Alright, so, considering we're going into a dungeon, I'm just going to end the episode here for right now. Because I know I won't be able to save and back out to uh, end the episode otherwise. So, for now, we're going to cut it off. We'll do the dungeon in the next episode. And here's hoping no real shenanigans with Ari. Aron. Ar <laughs> Why can't I say her name? Arania. There we go. I keep wanting to say Ariana, and that's not right. <laughs> that's definitely not right. Okay. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And finally making our way to the Vesper Pool where it seems to be a bunch of ruins. We've lost Gladio due to him trying to do the DLC stuff, I guess. Which is him being on his own. And we get Arania as our fourth for whatever bullshit we're going to be doing for you.